So hello, we just heard from Adam Amur at uh, Uppsala Genome Center, who's been talking about the experiments that they've been running on the INP2 chip. So Adam, thanks very much for a really nice presentation today. Um, so you've been working with a P2 chip in the last couple of months in your lab at Uppsala. Um, can you just give us some highlights for you know, what we were presenting today at the workshop at ESHG? Yes, so what we looked at was, uh, was uh, cervical cancer samples uh, that were infected by HPV-16 and other types of samples infected by other HPV types. Uh, and we're basically trying to characterize the expression levels and see if we see uh, any expression differences between these two types of samples. Uh, and we were also able then, using the P2 chip, to multiplex 24 samples on one single chip. Uh, and we also looked at correlations then between the P2 data and P1 and saw that, I mean, basically we get identical results. What can you say about the utility of the P2? Do you, do you, did, you, did you like what you saw in terms of the correlation? Did you think it was good enough for repeating those kind of analysis going forward? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we, we get the same measurements using the P1 and P2, I would say. Uh, and uh, I mean, this means that we can multiplex and look at larger sample cohorts, basically, when, when using the P2 instead of P1. And you were using transcriptome analysis, right? Um, did you use, w what kind of analysis did you do there? Uh, so we, we used the AmpliSeq transcriptome mm. plugin uh, to mm -hmm. generate the expression results. Uh, and that's also one easy way of doing it because we get b basically a gene expression count table that we can directly continue to analyze further. Okay, thanks very mm. much. Thank you.